Let me call Cabinet uh, Secretary, uh, Minister for Environment and Forestry, Honorable uh, Keriako Tobiko, and uh, he will compete with Amina. Amina identified him as a mentor. So let's see the competition. And please, let's be brief as possible. Uh, thank you so very much, uh, Your Excellency, the Governor. Uh, the Right uh, Honorable, the Prime Minister, my colleague, uh, Ministers, and uh, led by CS uh, Fred Matiangi, Excellencies, the Governors, Excellencies, the uh, Ambassadors and High Commissioners, and other members of the Diplomatic Corps, uh, members of Parliament, Senate, and, uh, and uh, National Assembly, uh, Governors again, and my colleagues, I have PSS. Uh, where is my PS? Uh, P.S. Kipto, I have taken a lot of credit, but without uh, him, I would uh, not have succeeded. So I think it is important to recognize his efforts. Uh, your, your, your Excellency, please clap for him. Your, your, your Excellency, I shall be uh, uh, absolutely uh, short, and, uh, because a lot has been said. Uh, climate change is, is real. You don't need to be a scientist. Although science, in this case, actually is unanimous. Uh, all what you need to do is to have your eyes what is happening here with us. As we speak now, two million plus of Kenyans are suffering the devastation of drought. The same with Madagascar, Somalia, and other parts of Africa. In other parts of the world, we have hurricanes, cyclones. We even have a new phenomenon in Canada called the atmospheric rivers. Now we have rivers uh, on the skies, so in the skies. So climate change is real and 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 secondly your excellency this conference and i must register my appreciation i have worked uh, with the organizers uh, organizers worked with the governors as one of the members of the steering committee and i have enjoyed tremendously working with them and this shows the partnership between the national government and the county government previously we used to play ping pong games and blame, uh, blame games. But in this, we are in this together. And I truly appreciate uh, the partnership. And we have just come from Glasgow, and I am happy. In Glasgow, actually, you know, we were, we were in the same uh, similar setting uh, and uh, huge tents. The difference was this, that in, in, in the Glasgow case, we had hit us because it was too cold. <laughs> Uh, here in Makueni, under the tents, we are looking for we are opening windows uh, and air con. So. so climate change is real and it is devastating. We don't want to make uh, to blame uh, to play game, uh, games and uh, blame those who are most responsible. Although we know that 20 countries globally contribute more than 80 percent of the greenhouse gases and they control the 80 percent of global uh, DG, uh, GDP, but that's not really the point. The point is we must work together. We appreciate the resources that we have received and continue to receive the, from our partners. It is not enough and it can never be enough. And Kenya, using our president, who led our delegation in Glasgow, showcased the leadership Kenya has achieved here in Kenya, in Africa, and in the whole world using our own internal resources, but also with the support of our partners. Climate change uh, does not discriminate tribe, doesn't discriminate uh, political affiliations. All of us are in this together as a world. And of course, communities such as ours, economies such as ours in Africa are more vulnerable. And that is the difference between the impacts here and the impacts in more developed jurisdictions. So we must work together um, in terms of support, in terms of resources, in terms of technology development inter and transfer, in terms of capacity building, instead of spending so much time on who is responsible. And that is important in itself, but really we must move forward. The last point, and I would urge that at some point during the program, uh, if my ministry, the PS, and those who are present can be given an opportunity during the breakout groups to speak about the two billion uh, tree fund that uh, His Excellency announced in Glasgow, uh, 
the, which is an initiative between my ministry, uh, Treasury, and the UNDP and the UN fraternity, because it is a significant facility, a mechanism towards mobilizing uh, resources, so, but, but uh, not here, maybe in, in Outbury. And also speak to you about the program we have establishing seed centers in the regions and sub-regions and working with the county governments also to establish county model uh, tree nurseries and going big on bamboo. And finally, we are in the electioneering period. The next couple of months, we'll go into elections. Our president has since he assumed office achieved tremendous uh, milestone in the fight against climate change. What I have been waiting to hear, and although I know, of course, the campaigns have not yet started in earnest, well, of course, but I think it is important that we mainstream climate change and environment in our political discourse. And I know some of you, maybe more, many of you here, are aspirants in the next elections. We have had a lot of theories and, 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 and principles being espoused by some. I am yet to hear uh, anything at all on what is it that you propose, and I, uh, uh, here, uh, the Right Honorable uh, Prime Minister and you are in your party, and so two others. Where is your manifesto? Where does, where does climate change, which is the, the most serious threat to humanity and the planet, where does it fall in your manifesto? Or do we risk now, because of the political transition, losing the gains that our president, and they have been spoken to, and I don't need to repeat them because they are there to be seen, they have been seen globally. What happens next post-August 2022? That is important. Now, finally, you heard about a girl called um, Greta Thunberg, who mobilized the youth, the kids, such as Amina. We messed with, up with nature, we have messed up with their lives, their future. And she watching what was happening, actually participating in Glasgow, she said, there's a lot of blah, 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 blah. Too much talk here, too much speeches, too many speeches, but no action. I hope and I believe, because I know and I have interacted with a number of your governors, I hope that this conference does not become another blah, 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 blah. I thank you. I think there was a bit of climate politics there. Uh, and it is a reality. There is also, also climate politics, especially at the international level. Uh, now, I would like to call Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Devolution, Honorable Charles Keter, to also give his remarks.